guys, it's Cinnamon from Liberty Jane. Today I'm going to show you the basics of a new sewing machine, how to use it, how to thread it, uh, what the buttons mean, how it comes out of the box, the things that you might not understand. I have this new book out, it's called Sewing, it's for the Idiot's Guide brand, written by me. It's a basic sewing book, starting from opening your sewing machine, you know, out of the box, and it will walk you through um, all the parts of your machine. So it's got full color pictures, um, here's all the different sewing machine parts, how to start basic stitches, uh, there's a project gallery, things like cute coasters, how to make a skirt, a scissor holder, this one's a little coffee cozy, a sewing machine cover, pin cushion, lots of cute things. There's a cute little bag. Anyway, so this book is out. It's available on Amazon or you can go buy it at Barnes and Noble. Um, and it'll walk you through all the basics of learning how to sew. I actually have this sewing machine pictured in the book. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through. Uh, walk you through the basics of this sewing machine and how it would work uh, when you get it out of the box and you'll notice this part is the power cord it has one end like this that you will plug into the side of your sewing machine way over here I'll turn it so you can see there's a hole right here for the plug and over here right next to it is the power switch so and then this part obviously plugs into your wall and you can turn your sewing machine on. Okay, the other part that you have is the foot pedal. It has a jack like this that will also plug in. Oh, right here there's a tiny little uh, plug, sort of like a headphone jack that this just pops right into. You push it in. Then the foot pedal will go down on the floor and this is what you push with your foot to make the sewing machine start and stop. Okay, for the next part, I'm going to pull the camera closer to the machine so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to show you where the thread goes. This right here is the, where the thread will sit on this spool. So let me grab the camera and I will show you a little bit more close-up detail. Alright, now I'm just going to walk you through how to do the basic threading on this particular sewing machine. The thread is on the spool and you'll come out and you'll slip it underneath. There's a little lever back there that will catch it and then it's going to pull forward and it's following along the top of the machine right here you can see there's some arrows and some guides so it does basically show you the, the path to follow but here I'm following this arrow and I come down into this slot and then it's going to loop around and I'm holding it tight I loop it around and come back straight up there's a metal bar right inside here that this has to catch and there's a hole in the top of it and the thread is now hooked inside that hook. It comes back down inside this slot all the way and then underneath here you have your needle. It's sitting right down in here in the sewing machine. There's a little, little hook right on top of the needle that the thread will pop into. I'm going to tilt this back just so you can see it a little bit. So right here there's a little guide and the thread comes down and it slides from this side behind it. Once it's caught in there, that holds it right above the needle. The needle is right here and there's a tiny little hole right above the point. So you're going to need to thread that part. This machine has an automatic needle threader that comes down and goes like that. So it will grab the thread and pull it through so you don't have to try to take this end and get real close and try to push it through. The sewing machine will have a bobbin thread, which on this machine is a top loading bobbin right here. A bobbin looks like this. It's a small little circle and it'll hold the thread. Generally you're going to use the same color bobbin thread that you're using on the top. Every machine will come with its own bobbin that fits into it its own bobbin casing. So some machines like different brother machines can all use the same brother bobbins by brand. But you just want to check and make sure that you have when you need to buy extra ones that you get the right ones for your machine and that would be in your manual. 
Now I'm going to show you how to actually get the thread on the bobbin. Your machine is going to come with empty bobbins that look like this. This one, it's kind of hard to see because this is clear plastic. Some bobbins are metal, silver metal or something different, but uh, these ones will be like this. It's empty. So you will snap the bobbin right onto this part down here, which it fits right on. I'm going to pull this thread out here. Now on the top of the machine, again, I'm not sure how well you can see that, there is a guide on here that shows you uh, how to wind the bobbin. So for this one, it shows you that instead of going under this part and down the front, you're going to come and use this little round part and it loops around and it comes back towards this way. So the bobbin thread will come around like this, it goes around this pretty tight, it'll catch in there and it crosses back over so they're crossed. So it's crossed over the thread that's coming this way. Then it comes down here and you wrap it around the bobbin a couple times. And then this one has a little cutter so you can slide your thread underneath and there's a little slot right there and you pull it out and it's secured right there. And then when your sewing machine is plugged in and turned on, you just snap that over, push the pedal, and it'll wind super fast. And it'll fill up the whole thing, and when it's done, it'll stop automatically. And either pop back out, or you can pop it out, and then you pull your bobbin off. Cut the thread right here. So, that is how you load a bobbin. Here's another fun little thing that I have, actually. This one right here is a bobbin holder. Keeps them all nicely organized. They just snap right in here. Um, as you start sewing, you're probably going to end up with a lot of different bobbins and different colors and you know, you just swap them out as you're sewing different projects and this is just a fun, fun way to keep them organized. Now this part right down here is the bobbin casing. This one is a top loading bobbin, so to put the bobbin in there you're going to unsnap that. There's a little lever. This part comes out and then the bobbin is going to fit right in here. Okay, so you have your bobbin. And there's a little guide on here too, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it shows the bobbin, it shows which direction the thread on the bobbin should unwind. It can either unwind this way or this way, whichever side. So for this one, the bobbin just fits right down in there. There's a little piece of, there's a little slit in this plastic. So the thread comes down, it goes around and it follows this little space right around to the edge. There's a little tiny blade in there that will cut the thread. So you go like that, it's in there. You slide this back on and snap it down. And then when you sew and you push your first stitch, the top thread will loop with the bobbin thread and the thread will be coming out towards the back. I'm just gonna show you quickly a different style sewing machine where the thread is sitting differently and the bobbin actually loads from under the bottom. I'm gonna pull this off uh, just so you can see this better actually. So this thread on this machine, it has these little discs that slide onto the spool holder that will hold the thread tight and the thread itself actually sits on here sideways. This machine is also very specific where the thread has to unwrap like this from the top, not, not under the bottom or it won't sew right. So um, that is something that would be specified in your manual on your machine. So you might want to look and just make sure that your thread's on right. It's one thing to check if you're sewing and the stitches don't look right or they're getting tangled or it's just kind of, it's not working. You know, unthread your machine and put your thread on the other direction and try rethreading it, rethread your bobbin, stuff like that. It's good to just try that before anything else. Okay, back to this machine. This one has a bobbin down here. which is right inside this little metal bobbin holder. So this slides into here and like the top thread, it has to actually unwind in a certain direction or it, it won't work right. So that goes through, there's a little slot and the thread comes here so the, the bobbin can spin like that. This Once you have this pushed in here, you pull this little lever out right here and that keeps it from falling out. So the bobbin won't fall out. You have this gripped pretty tightly. And then this part will fit right in here. You'll see the space under the machine where this little, this little tall part can just snap right in. I'm not sure I can do this backwards. 
So that goes in. Once it's in, you can let go of that little lever. On this one, the thread comes out and there's a little cutter right down in there. So you just pull that, you close it, you have your thread right here going through. And then um, when you take your first stitch, or you can turn this, which pulls the thread down, you can see that I now have the bobbin thread coming up through there. So, yeah, so that right there is just to show you uh, a variation for the bobbin and the thread. Okay, now we'll go back to the other machine and um, I'll walk you through some other features that are on there. Now I'm gonna show you a few other things that your machine will come with. You'll have your manual. It'll show you how to replace the feet, how to put them on and off. All the basics are in here and basic troubleshooting is in here. Uh, the model number and everything so if you want to order extra parts extra feet as you get more advanced in sewing there's different feet for different types of sewing so it's good to look through your manual and always keep it handy so that you know um, what you're doing <laughs> now I'm going to show you the different parts of the sewing machine on the front here you can see let me turn it on so this little panel here will light up and you can see all these um, different stitches right here starting with 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. So there's, this one has quite a bit, um, a lot of different stitches. For most sewing, uh, if you're using the, the Liberty Jane patterns that you find, um, there's straight stitch, which is what you basically be using all the time. There's a basic zigzag on here, which we use pretty frequently to finish off your seams after you straight stitch. So those are the two basics that will pretty much help you with every pattern um, that we sell. So you can see on here if you want to change the stitch, this one's digital, it just has these buttons. So you would push these buttons on here and that's how you would change the stitch. This part over here shows you the length of the stitch, how long the stitch will go between the next stitch. The bottom number is how wide the stitch goes. So if you're using a zigzag and you want your zigzag to be really narrow back and forth, then this is how you're gonna change that. If you want it to be a really wide zigzag, but, but close together, you'd have a small number up here and a wider number here. You can have a wide and wide, wide and long, you know, kind of like a, more like a Z. Um, anyway, so you can mess around with that, have some extra fabric or a scrap of fabric, and you can just kind of play around with the buttons, and you can see all the different stitches that your machine can do. That is that part. This part right here on this machine, not all machines will have this selection right here, but I think this is a really great selection to look for, especially if you are just learning. I use this with my girls, and it made them learning how to sew a lot easier. If you're all the way over on the first arrow, this one has a one, two, and a three, and it sets the speed, how fast the sewing machine is sewing. So when you push the pedal, um, you can push it as hard as you want, and if it's set to the one, it's only gonna sew just kind of like you know. You can't accidentally have runaway fabric, or you know, like I did when I was a kid, I used to stomp the pedal so super fast, and of course my finger went right under the sewing machine, and the needle went right through my finger. So, you know, we don't want accidents like that to happen, so this is a great feature, and as you get more advanced or you're working on different projects that maybe have a pretty easy straight line, you can sew faster, but you want really good control, you can slow it down, and then, you know, it's not, the pedal's not as sensitive. So this is great.